Today we're opening a $75 legendary collection versus a $100 legendary collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have Legendary Collection 2 versus Legendary Collection 3. We have never done this one before, so this should be pretty fun. Kaiba was awesome last time we had it on a versus video, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Toon Kingdom, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, and Triple Tactics Talents. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think will win. Kaiba or Legendary Collection 2. So because I am personally rooting for Legendary Collection Kaiba, I want to pull that Ash Blossom. We are going to start off with Legendary Collection 2. We've opened this several times on the channel in versus videos. It seems like this one always wins. Kaiba's 1-0 as well, so I feel like the records at this point, undefeated going in against each other, powerhouses, should be interesting to see. I want to let you guys know, or I want you to see you guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments. There we go. All right, at this point, we know that we have the promos. We have seen those a few times. Then we have our five packs, which is pretty exciting. Kaiba only only has three though we'll see if five or three is better okay let's start it off with the first pack of legendary collection two i like when they do five packs better than three three was a little bit weird i didn't really like that too much because you're you know your packs are open so quickly and then you're just like oh there goes all my packs we got a blade edge instant neo space the elemental hero mariner neo spatian air hummingbird Deformation. We got the Hero Ring for Super Rare. That is such a pretty looking card. It's not worth a lot, but it's pretty cool. Cyber Twin Dragon. Very nice Secret Rare. That's pretty awesome. Elemental Hero Electrum and Elemental Hero Necro Shade. So a pretty solid start. Next pack, we have Legendary Collection 2, number 2. Okay, let's go. Numero Dos. What can we pull out of the Legendary Collection? I'm looking for... What are we looking for? Maybe like Super Poly, something like that. I think those are some of the big ones. And then, of course, Cyber and Dragon, all those elemental heroes. We got the Bubble Man elemental hero. Neos Force, Dark Lord Desire, the Great Shogun Sheehan. So, if we're trying to play some Six Samurai, that's pretty cool. Wolf the Light Sworn Beast, and a Hero Flash. Okay, not bad. So far, we've done it pretty well, but we are looking for something insane to beat Legendary Collection Kai, but will this be the time Legendary Collection 2 finally loses? I'm not sure, though. This is such a strong set. I don't know if it will. So far, no Stratos Commons, which are sometimes in here. We've got an Asashi Malicious is a good common. That's a good one. Clock Tower Prison. Destiny Hero Plasma. Pretty nice super rare version. Power Bond Secret Rare. I don't know if we ever pulled this one, or at least not in a long time. That's a pretty looking card. I don't know if anybody uses Power Bond at this point. It's probably a little old, but it's a pretty crazy card. And then a Rainbow Dark Dragon and a Bubble Shuffle. So that was a... Oh, wait. We had another card. Okay. That was a pretty good pack. Still two packs to go. Legendary Collection 2 versus Kaiba. All right. I told you guys I picked Kaiba. So Kaiba, I think, still has a chance. We haven't pulled anything like that crazy yet, but there's definitely potential left. We have the Destiny Hero Dunker. He's going to be slam dunking the D-Spirit. Captain Gold. Rise of the Snake Deity. We've got the DD Survivor. Cool. Elemental Hero Mudball, man. This is one that you just don't see very much. I don't think it ever got like an ulti printing or anything. It's just a funny looking card. I mean, just the Mudball, man. I just love it. Oh, and the alternate art. Cyber Dragon Secret Rare. That's definitely a big hit for the GX side. Oh my goodness. Macrocosmos, another solid ultra rare. And Gladiator Beast Proving Ground with some crazy inking error going on there and all the R's. Look at that. That's, and then even the A. That's weird. That is certainly a big hit. The running count for Legendary Collection two is probably up to 20 30 bucks at this point which is pretty strong showing i mean legendary collection kaiba was crazy though last time so we'll see about this time we got a wing karibo we got the grandmaster of the six samurai last pack for legendary collection two we got the yaichi we got the change of hero reflector ray destiny and dragoon this is the old school dragoon not the dragoon you love and know or maybe hate and know but this is the new one all right dark and dragon a pretty nice one this is worth a little bit i think it's played in edison format a little bit so that probably gives us some value then a chaos neos this is unfortunately not the misprint ghost rare which doesn't even come in the set but that'd be pretty cool granny inversions it looks like all these have these inking issues that's weird and then elemental recharge so overall a very strong showing for legendary collection 2 i mean it wasn't the best ever but it was still really good then we have legendary collection kaiba let's see what's in this one the three packs which is uh you know not a lot and then we have the promos in here probably not going to open those up because we have opened them a lot the di not the dictator of d that's a new one that's the king of d so the king and the dictator might have some beef but we'll have to see and then we get that mat inside so let's see oh look Download and duel now. Duel links. I'm sure everyone's playing that game now that Master Duel is out. 
Let's get into this legendary collection. Last time I actually had a first edition one, which I didn't even realize. I kind of forgot they had unlimited for this one, but it was so good with the Ash Blossom and everything that it got the unlimited print. So the first edition actually probably made it even more unfair for the other side last time. This time I think they're unlimited. Yeah, so this is a little bit more even. We have the uh, promo pack, which kind of factors in. Three total packs. So they're all foils and they're ultras and secret rare. So let's see if they can possibly beat legendary collection too. This is the weird one where it's like two secrets at the front, then a bunch of ultras and like two secrets at the back. It's something like that. Let's see if we can uh, change it up and have all the secrets at the end. I think it worked. All right. Virus cannon. We need this to shoot out all the viruses because, uh, you know, nobody likes a good virus. Mirror Force Dragon. Our best friend, Mirror Force Dragon. And look, I think this is the actual one that they give you in all those uh, packs. Full. Really? Really? Full force virus? What What is going on? Okay. If we get a crush card virus, it's just going to be crazy. XYZ Dragon Cannon. This is the alternate art. Let me know. Do you like the alternate art or the original? I'm a big original guy. You guys know. We actually pulled the original first edition from Magician's Force in a video. Go check that one out if you missed it. Fiendish Chain. That's a very nice card. This might actually have some value. Okay. We'll pull that one out. And speaking of value, Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. That's probably... Might have just won us the battle already. That is insane. That's probably like 30, 40 bucks. The original artwork. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. If you like feet. No, I'm, I'm not going to get into the feet thing. Okay, Beacon of White. Secret Rare. Very nice. Burst Stream of Destruction. Oh my goodness. Even Unlimited. That's huge. The White Stone of Legend. Such a beautiful print of this card. Just look at the Secret Rare. It's really nice in these Legendary Collections. And finally... Neutron Blast. So we got the Burst Stream of Destruction and the ne Neutron Blast in one pack. That's pretty cool. All right, pack number two. It's looking pretty strong for the Kaiba. I said I was on Team Kaiba. I'm just saying, guys. Let me know. Uh, wh what do you think? you think we've won already, or do we still need to pull something else? Because Ash Blossom is not bad. I forgot it was just an Ultra Rare in here, which is pretty cool. Soul Exchange. So out of these six Ultras, you could pull the best card. Doom. What's up with all the virus stuff? I guess Kaiba was into the virus stuff, but Doom Virus Dragon, is he, is he to blame for this? I don't know. Vorce Raider. We got the Heavy Mech Support Armor. That's a pretty nice card. There it is. The Crush Card Virus. We finally got the Crush Card. That's a pretty nice card. I don't know if it actually has value. I'm sure it does. It's a Crush Card. Cloning. That's a nice card. Okay. And Secret Rares. Terraforming again. We got this last time. I think this has some nice value as a Secret Rare. You can't even see the Secret Rare like in the space part. You can only see it right here on like the planet. I, it might not even have secret on that part. It might only be on that part. That actually is kind of cool. I like that. Polymerization. This one in first edition was like $15 or something crazy. This is unlimited, so it's going to be less. That's still nice, though. A Assault Core for the ABC players. Nice. And Cards of Continents. This is actually a money card because, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of printings of this one. It's definitely the highest rarity. So if you're playing those blue eyes decks and stuff, that's a nice card. All right, final pack. Uh, at this point, Kaiba is looking pretty nice with only two packs open. So let's see... What's going to happen on the final pack? I did pull a double Ash Blossom out of these once right when it came out. So if that would happen again, that'd be crazy. Here's the card that really hurt the value of the TP1 or TP2 version. It was like 30 bucks. Then they printed it as an Ultra as the second printing. And now it's worth like 4 bucks. So definitely. Uh, Kaiba Man. It's always weird. Have you guys seen that episode where Kaiba Man's actually like alive? It's, it's very weird. It's in GX. Deck Devastation. Vi Literally, he loved the virus. It's kind of kind of weird. Giant Red Sea Snake, this used to be a TP2, I think it was a super, and then it became a TP4, like, rare or something like that. Pretty interesting card. Mirror Force, you love to see this card, such a classic. Aw, oh, pretty, nice, pretty uh, colors on it. Dragoonity Legionnaire, and Dragoonities, of course, have to make their way into it. Dragon Master Knight Secret Rare, that is a beautiful printing of this card. You love to see it with that Blackluster Soldier back there. Okay, can we get something crazy? Enemy controller, left, right, A, B. Yeah, you love to see that. Okay. Kaiba, one of his iconic spell cards. The Flute of Summoning Dragon. And finally, what will we pull in the final pack? The final card of Kaiba. Will, have we beaten our GX already? I don't know. We're about to see. Dragonic Tactics, another secret rare. That's a pretty nice card. I don't think it's actually very valuable, but it looks cool. That was a fun battle. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe for more epic content like this. Shout out to CCG Trusted Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Ananas High Show, JT Cho, and Anima Hallowed. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.